I am Dan Costa with PC Mag, and we are inside CES 2016. The doors are open, the booths are open. We're at one of my favorite booths. I make this my first stop every time I get here, the Sony booth. It's all the way in the back of the convention center, but they've got everything. They got cameras, they got TVs. Yes. We're here with Joseph Sam. You're going to tell us a little bit about Sony's new offerings, a little bit about HDTVs, mm -hmm. and some of the new technologies that are coming out that a lot of people don't quite understand. Cool, awesome. Hello, everyone. So, I'm um, excited to have you guys here today. So, we're here at the Sony booth. We've got a lot of new televisions coming out this year. We're very excited to present them to you. So, one thing I will highlight for everybody this year, we really put a lot of emphasis on design. We've got our X930D television behind us here. So, I'll move out of the way so you can take a look at that. Yeah. But this is our new 930D. What we did this year with this television is we installed a new slim backlight system. So if you if you know, normally on a, a full array TV, you have to have a thicker panel, a thicker panel in order to get um, the contrast levels that we're able to achieve with this. But our new slim backlight design system allows you to have an extremely thin panel while still achieving contrast levels superseding those of other manufacturers. Yeah. And this is also so it's 4K. Absolutely. And this year, everybody's showing 4K. We've seen 4K for a couple of years, but this seems like this is the year we're telling consumers, spend the extra money. It's not that much more money. Everybody's standardizing on it. No, there's not a ton of content, but this is the year to break through and actually spend on it. Do you, would you agree? 4K is here. If you're going to buy a television in 2016, it definitely needs to be a 4K television. So one of the great things, you know, in the last few years, we've been trying to get consumers into the 4K market to help them understand what it is and where they can get the content from. In the past, I will admit, content was a little limited, but there are so many different ways to achieve 4K content now. Netflix. Netflix. Coming out, I remember a year ago, seeing Netflix 4K streaming video on your TVs in this booth and being like, okay, this is gonna, this could actually work. Like, yeah. This could, I could actually recommend this. Now. And it's working. Netflix, Amazon, Hulu. There's tons of streaming sources. We announced this year at the press conference that we're going to be launching our own 4K streaming service um, called Ultra. So definitely take a look at that. That'll be launching on our FY16 model televisions um, with our Android base. I'm sure you're probably familiar with that. We launched we launched our Android um, application on our televisions, I believe, two years ago. So it. The, as everyone knows, Android is the largest web application available on the market today. So you can get hundreds of apps for your television. Um, you can do so many things now. You can. Uh, we have a section called IoT. You can actually control your lighting system in your home from the television. You can lock your door. You can turn your lights on and off. You can pull up the. Oh, what's the difference between these two TVs? These are both actually the 930D television. Um, we just have this one wall mounted. So um, we actually do have some other models that we'll walk around and show you here in a moment. One of the neat things, and I don't, we're probably not going to walk around and show it right now, but the back of that TV looks beautiful. Like you, and, and you made a point of that, that you actually designed the back of the TV, not just the front of the TV. Absolutely. What we tried to do this year was make the back of the TV just look just as good as the front. So we did a cable management system. I know everybody at home, I know I have an entertainment system that had kind of a jumble of cables all around in the back from your HDMI's to your power cord. So what we did is we actually routed all the cables around the back of the television. We can walk, oh, come run around, I'll show yeah. you. So we routed the cables down around the back of the television to make it a smoother look. Oh yeah. Oh, this is great. See, you want to do this one or? So th what we're showing here, this is the um, wall, our slim wall mount system. So it hangs just like a picture frame. If you guys are familiar with our lineup, last year we introduced the X900C, which was, at that time was the thinnest 4K television that was on the market. This year. This year for our X930D, it's actually a little bit thicker, but it mounts closer to the wall, less than an inch and a half away from the wall. So that's why we're showing here that slim wall mount system. They ask, I, think, I think our readers are asking how much it costs. The wall mount system is going to be additional accessory. We'll release that once we release the product comes to market in a few months. Not available just yet. So one of the other technologies we were talking about was HDR. Mm -hmm. And if you guys got questions, throw them out. Any kind of HDTV questions, uh, just to answer them. Uh, any kind of question about Sony products. I could do it. The uh, HDR, it's hot technology. It's just coming out. Um, what, how big a difference does that make in overall picture quality? I'll tell you one thing I think that makes it really clear. The old broadcast standard had, a, had us limited to 100 nits of brightness. Mm -hmm. The new broadcast standard can go all the way up to 1,000 nits. So that's a pretty big difference. Okay, so order of magnitude 
of, uh, of brightness alone. And there's more than just brightness too. There's color. Absolutely. When you think about when you think about a color spectrum, um, as you increase, as you're able to increase the brightness, you're able to get tons of more shades of color. So with the advancements in HDR, we have so many more colors you can pre reproduce. You'll start to see movies and streaming content. Amazon already has HDR streaming content. It adds a totally new effect to the images. So you'll start to see some older movies remastered. That's one of the really cool things I'll say about HDR. We don't have to start filming new movies in HDR. That that content, that information was already there. We always, the display was able was already able to do it. The capture the camera was able to capture it. We just couldn't send it through that broadcast signal. Now that the broadcast signal can handle it, you can get that amazing image all the way from the studio to your home. Rec 2020, we're working with HDR10. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Smart, smart people. We're absolutely. We're going to have some um, other televisions in our lineup that we'll be announcing later this year. We wanted to lead with our flagship, the X nine thirty D and the X nine forty D. So those will be the first ones that come to market. But we will absolutely have some entry level models that are um, for everybody. And you want to go back to that Rec 2020? Uh? The Rec 2020. So that is the new color space. So you'll see that um, it's a new color space system that gives you an um, expanded range of color and expanded range of brightness. And the great thing about our television, we have a system called X Reality Pro because it's not just about having the bigger color space because a lot of people can have the bigger color space. It's about how you utilize it. And we use our, our technology called an X Reality Pro with precision color mapping to actually map those colors accurately to give you the best brightest color with the best, deepest contrast. So let's give you an opportunity to, to, to dish on some competitors. People go into a, a, a Walmart, they go into a Best Buy, mm -hmm. they've got a wall of TVs in front of them, they're all amped up. Mm -hmm. How, why would they, why should they buy a Sony branded TV as opposed to a Vizio, a Samsung? Um, you know, what makes Sony TVs different than everything else on the market? You know what I always tell people? If you're going to make a, if you're going to make lunch, that's pretty cool. But if Wolfgang Puck is going to make lunch, that's even better. So, Sony is Wolfgang Puck. Sony is Wolfgang Puck. All right, that's pretty good. We have everything. We have everything. We. Oh, oh boy. Oh, keep going. Keep going. Keep talking. Stuff down. I'd say they just can't hear me. Okay. They can't hear me. They can still hear you. Hard to walk with cables, people. <laughs> Sony is involved in all aspects. We have an entire ecosystem. Everybody knows Sony Pictures, Sony Cameras, Sony Televisions. We have an entire ecosystem of video display. So we know what we're doing. We know how to maximize the content, and we know how to deliver the content, which we're going to do with our new streaming service, Ultra. So, you know, I think it's a pretty clear comparison between the manufacturers that we have our hands in every area of the business, so we know what we're doing. So maybe talk, uh, I know you don't have a lot more time, but let's talk a little bit about Ultra itself. Because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's relatively new. People, are, you know, what is that going to offer to users and, and what do you think the experience is going to be like? It's going to give you the ability to bring 4K content directly into your home on your FY16 Android television. So with that, for the last few years, the conversation about content has been hot. Everybody knows there's 4K, but where do you get the content from? There's so many. Now we have Amazon, Netflix, Hulu. But with Sony Pictures having so many 4K titles already in our wheelhouse, we wanted to give our consumers a way to directly access those, uh, access those files in their home from our device. So when you buy a Sony TV, there's definitely some benefits to that. Joseph, thank you so much for helping us out here. That was a great presentation. There, the TVs are all over the place. We're going to see a lot more by the end of the day. Uh, tune in, subscribe to us, heart us, share us. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in. We're going to be doing this all day long here at the show floor at CES 2016. I'm Dan Costa with PC Mag. See you soon.